Hey everyone, welcome back for another episode of the Family Chit Chat. I am Tom Pounder and today we're going to start off with a choose your adventure. I'm going to share with you two stories and I'm going to ask you to choose what happens next. We played a game similar to this a few months ago, but now we're going to start a whole new one. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Here is your first story. You have a healthy lunch. Your mom and your dad make you this really healthy lunch each and every day that you go to school with. And it's filled with just good healthy food. But your friends have some really not so healthy food and some nice snacks and some nice treats. And you're like, you're kind of jealous. You're like, oh, I wish I could have one of their treats. I wish I could have that instead of some of my healthy food. So what do you do next? Do you A, trade your snacks with some of your friends' snacks and get some of that unhealthy stuff? Or B, do you just eat your own lunch and just ignore the fact that they have some treats and you don't? Or C, do you ask your mom and your dad, say, hey, mom and dad, can I have a snack in my lunch sometimes? I want you to pause the video right now and talk it over with your friends and your family. What would you do next? All right, so what did you decide? Did you trade your snacks? Did you ask your mom and your dad for a snack occasionally? Or did you just eat your snack as it is? Hey, if you chose to eat your snacks, the healthy snacks, or even ask your mom and your dad for an occasional unhealthy snack from time to time, those would have been the wise decisions to make. Trading your snacks without your parents knowing it probably wouldn't be the best thing for you to do. It'd probably be an unwise decision. All right, so good. Way to go in answering those questions. All right, here's the next one. Imagine that you're on a baseball team and that one of your friends, he's probably one of the smaller kids on the team, he struck out. In fact, he didn't even swing the bat the one time. And he comes back to the dugout all discouraged and not happy. And some of the other teammates start ganging up on him and saying, oh, you're terrible. You're not very good. What do you do next? Do you A, pretend that you don't even hear them and just go off on the other side of the dugout and, and just ignore them and let the other teammates gang up on him? Or do you B, you gang up on him as well and heap insults on him and saying how terrible of a baseball player he is? Or do you see, stand up for your friend, your teammate, and uh, tell another adult friend, an adult coach, and say, hey, these guys are picking on them. Please stop doing that. What do you do? Pause the video right now and discuss it with your friends and your family. Well, if you chose C, to stand up for your friend and to tell an adult coach or role model about this situation and stand up for your friend, then that's probably the wisest decision. You don't want to heap insults on them, or you don't want to pretend that you're not hearing this other kid being picked on. You want to stand up for your friend, and that's the wise decision. So what does all this mean? What does this choose your venture deal have to do with our Bible story today? Well, it has everything to do with it, because in Proverbs 22, verse 3, it says this, Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. The reality is that you're going to be faced with tough decisions all the time where you can either make a wise decision or an unwise decision. And what the Bible verse tells us to do is to, when you're faced with a tough decision, go to a safe place that you think about what will happen if you make a wise decision or an unwise decision. And then hopefully that you then you'll be able to make the wise decision. You'll stop being able to think, process it through and make the wise decision, which will lead you to a safe place. And it really reminds us of the bottom line for today is that if you want to be wise, you have to look before you leap. If you want to make the wise decision, you have to look before you leap. Because every time you're faced with a decision, it's either going to be a wise one or an unwise decision. And so you have to really process it. And so where do you find out the wise decision? How do you know what the wise decision is? You have to go before God. In Proverbs 8.10, it says this, Choose my teaching instead of silver. Choose knowledge rather than fine gold. We have to choose knowledge. We have to choose God's wisdom rather than anything else. We can go to our friends and we can go to adult role models that we really trust and, and look to. But ultimately, we need to go to God to get the right answers, to make the wise decision. So next time you're faced with a decision where you have to leap, you need to look and you need to ask God for that wisdom. All right, everyone, that's all I got for you today. Make sure you look before you leap and make those wise decisions by asking God which way you should go.